My top 10 mouse guns, let's check it out. Guys, I love mouse guns. I mean, they're small, they're tiny, they're a lot of fun to take to the range, and usually they're under 380 caliber, typically very small in size. And so there's a number of different mouse guns out there, but in 1968, the Gun Control Act actually limited the importation of a lot of these small little tiny pistols, especially semi-automatics. But there were a number of different companies that started producing them here in the U.S. They're very weak in caliber typically from 32 all the way down to 22 to 22 short. But they are a lot of fun and they're just so tiny. Now they've kind of fallen out of favor because the 380 has become so tiny and it's much more effective for a self-defense option. Now this is the Beretta 950 BS and spoiler alert, this is my number one mouse gun. It's just so cute. <laughs> Now many of these are still in production, in fact six of these out of the ten. Four are out of production, but you can still find them on Gunbroker and places like that. At gun shows is another great place. And then the calibers range anywhere from 22 long rifle, 22 magnum, 25 ACP to 32 ACP. I do have some 22 shorts and some others, but these are just my top ten. We're not necessarily going to go in any order. Uh, I will start out with my number one pick, but then we're going to just go down the list. While I would not again consider carrying any of these for primary concealed carry, I definitely have carried a number of these as a backup. And a lot of that has to do with just the cool factor. Now they're super small. Now one big thing is that now that 380 has gotten down to the size of this Ruger LCP2 in 22, it's the exact same size of your 380. I mean, it's gotten that 380 caliber down to a very small level. But as you can see, a lot of these pistols actually are considerably smaller. It's just part of enjoying firearms. And again, the golden age of firearms, guys, we have a lot of choices, whether they're new or on the used market. Guys, we have previously safety checked every one of these pistols, and so we're not going to go through each one. First on the list is the Beretta 950 BS. Uh, they did make an original 950 without the BS, and it did not even have a safety. And so this is just one of those small, little, high-quality uh, choices out of the bunch. Uh, Beretta continues to make others, but they no longer make the 950 BS. One of the big things about this pistol, though, that's been attractive is the tip-up barrel. So I can load my round. I don't have to pull that short slide back. I can close it, enter my magazine, which is 8 plus 1. And these are just a really nice little quality firearm. Uh, some of the originals actually came with wood grips. This also comes in 22 short, which I actually have one. And these were actually designed to be a backup for law enforcement or even military. This is called the Jetfire in the 25 ACP, and it's called the Minx in the 22 short. Now, it does have an aluminum alloy frame, and then, of course, the blue slide and the blue barrel. Kind of a thin little trigger guard. But it is. It's very simple. It's a blowback design. It is single action. So it, you can't access the trigger here with the hammer down. You have to cock it for, on the first round. Of course, if you pull the slide back, it will leave the hammer back in the back position. 25 ACP was designed by John Moses Browning mainly because 22 rimfire was not that reliable. And with centerfire ammunition, it's just more reliable. So the 25 ACP is very comparable to 22. It's a very soft shooting caliber. And honestly, one of my favorites just to take out and play with. Now, it's a lot more expensive than your 22 long rifle. Recoil's low, 
the muzzle blast is low, and these little tiny firearms are a lot of fun. One thing you want to be careful of is not to grab it too high if you have large hands because you can get a little bit of a slide bite. Uh, for me, I've never really had that issue. These were made from 1952 to 2003, and again, these are no longer made. They even make one model that has an extended barrel, and those are really pretty cool as well for target models. And again, this is my favorite mouse gun. Next is the Beretta Model 21A. This is also referred to as the Bobcat. Uh, this is a double action pistol that's over the single action of the 950. And that means when you just pull the trigger, the hammer will activate and then you can fire the pistol that way. It's a little bit larger than your 950, uh, but this one shoots 22 long rifle. Seven rounds of 22, and then if you want to go with the 25 ACP model, it'll hold eight rounds. Uh, with the wood grips, uh, also with the tip-up barrel. And very similar, again, to your 950 BS, but uh, just a little bit larger and double single action. These also have an aluminum frame. You have your frame safety. A little more of a beaver tail here, so it's not going to bite too bad unless you have really large hands. And, of course, these are very small. I like the magazine release here at the bottom. Uh, even though it's you know typically right here but on these small little pistols you know it's just part of the design now I actually bought this from my brother and he had it for over 25 years and I really had been wanting one and so this has been a great little gun now sometimes they can be a little finicky on ammunition but when you use CCI mini mags or the Fiocchi uh, 22 long rifle copper wash bullets they work really well in fact that's what we used in this one for the test and it was flawless a lot of people like this because you can tip that barrel up load your round and if you have weak hand strength to be able to pull that back because it is a little bit of a chore to pull it back now shooting this pistol it is very soft to shoot and it gives you a little extra grip and so you know it just fires really well and it's just 22 long rifle very smooth shooting there's no extractor on here it's actually the force of this case that pushes it out and because of that, sometimes it'll fly behind you. But a very soft shooting, fun shooting little gun that if you're carrying the right ammo is very reliable. But to me, as far as a mouse gun, the baby Browning is probably the most legendary. I mean, these things are tiny. 25 ACP, it holds six rounds. This was one of John Moses Browning's design again. This was originally called the FN 1906. These were made in Belgium and introduced in 1931, up until 1979. And there's a number of different variations to this pistol, but in 1960, it was referred to then as the baby. One of the things about this pistol, though, that's very unique is that it was used extensively with the French resistance during World War II, also the U.S. Air Force. There were over a half million of these made. This is just one of those iconic mouse guns and it is so tiny and yet using good quality 25 it's very reliable that's one thing i found with the 25 acp caliber it can be very reliable now in spite of its size it shoots really well i mean that grip is tiny and you barely have more than about a finger and a half but with the 25 acp it's really easy to manage and again it's very reliable it's just a lot of fun to shoot and it's so tiny and the recoil is so mild. This is one of my all-time favorite little mouse guns as well. Now, Precision Small Arms, or PSA, still produces the Baby Browning design and then also Bauer Arms. In fact, I have one of the Bowers, and it's made to the exact same specifications. It's just in stainless. And that's a really nice little firearm as well. Uh, one of the things about the PSA Precision Small Arms is they can be pretty pricey getting up to around $1,000. But... If you look for an original Baby Browning, they're pretty expensive as well. But the machining on these are just impeccable. And they're just beautiful little guns. Now, since we're on the little tiny mouse guns, uh, the North American Arms Pug is a beauty. It's 22 Magnum. Of course, you can get these in a number of different calibers, a number of different sizes. One thing that I love about the Pug, especially this one, is I have a tritium bead at the front and a little sight and this is really nice <laughs> actually for this type of little firearm uh, this is a five shot revolver it is slow to load 
Uh, you know, and it takes a little while to get this. The cylinder in and out, and it doesn't swing out, even though they do make a Sidewinder version. But they do make the 22 long rifle, they make 22 short, they make conversion unit. I mean, there's a lot of different choices for the North American Arms mini revolvers. This is one that I do carry often. Uh, it's so easy to slip in your pocket. And then with 22 Magnum, it's just nice to have. The one thing is, it's single action, so every time you fire it, you have to pull the hammer back. Um, and then you fire it, and then it goes to the next round. Uh, after that, again, to reload is a little bit tough. Uh, it is very small, so it does kind of pop up in your hand, but it's not uncomfortable to shoot. Some of the smaller versions are, and I think with this little rubberized grip, it makes it really nice. One thing that they have going for them, too, is you'll see these little notches in the cylinder, and when you rotate that notch and you rest the hammer in that notch, it actually is like a safety. So you can carry five rounds in here without worrying about having your hammer to drop. And then the great thing is, it doesn't matter whether it's there or not. When you open this up, you're ready to fire. So it is not a super fast option, but it is a super tiny option and can be very effective. In fact, a good friend of mine who's U.S. Marshal said this is his get-off-me gun. <laughs> Next, I want to move up to the LWC Camp. This is in 32 ACP. It is one of the smallest little semi-automatics in 32 out there. Uh, they do make it in a 380 ACP, and I think originally in 25 ACP. Uh, Ludwig C Camp was actually a German arms engineer back during World War II, and was actually shot in the face uh, with a small little pistol and then was able to bring out his P-38 and to end the conflict against a Russian soldier. And so he has always been big about double action, and this is a double action pistol. In fact, the hammer is resting, and when you pull the trigger, it comes back internally. A very small, very well handcrafted piece. I mean, these are absolutely beautiful. And they still are in production. Uh, they are a little bit ammo finicky uh, sometimes. In fact, there's a list on the C-Camp website, uh, and it gives you a lot of information, a lot of comparisons. There's really a lot there, and there's a lot of accessories and things that they offer. This is, again, 32 ACP. It's 6 plus 1 in the magazine. has the hill-type mag release. A little small stainless steel, and this is all stainless steel. They started production in 1973, and they're still going strong. This is probably the most highest quality pistol that I have on the table. One thing to note, though, is it has no sights. I mean, this is an up-close and personal point-and-shoot. It's very manageable in your hand. It's very easy to shoot. It doesn't have a lot to the grip. You can barely get a finger and a half on there, but it doesn't really need it. Even though it's 32 ACP, and I was shooting some Hornady Critical Defense, and there was no problems. I mean, it just holds well. And as far as the 10 guns that I have on the table, this is the most effective self-defense piece. Next, we have the Orgies. Uh, this is one of those guns that I have seen over and over and over at gun shows, and I always wanted one. And finally, I bought one. Uh, this is in 25 ACP. Uh, they do make it in the 32 and 380. This particular gun is made in Germany. It's actually made by Deutschtwerks uh, now, but originally by Orchies. These guns were made from 1919 to 1924. They won a number of national shooting championships with the 32 ACP. John Dillinger loved the Orchies. Uh, he had a number of them. And then also there was one made for Eva Braun, who was Hitler's fiance. And she actually had that and carried it with her at all times. So there is some historical significance about this pistol, even though it was only made for five years. It's six shot, just a small magazine, hill type safety, beautiful little wood grips. I mean, it is just for some reason, just one of the favorites as far as the looks. There's something about these little pistols that I just love. And when shooting it, it's so easy with 25 ACP, so smooth to shoot. Uh, one little thing that we had a hiccup is we ran out of 25 ACP and I used some old rounds and so one did get hung up and I honestly consider that an ammo problem, not the firearm because I've never had any issues with this little firearm. I should have brought more Fiocchi because that stuff just runs in these. But a great little firearm and you can sometimes find these around, especially on Gun Broker. But um, I really love this little 25. I also have the 32 and the 380. There's just something about this pistol that 
I just like. Next, we have the Life Card. Uh, this is a very unique pistol. It's the thinnest firearm made. It is tiny. In fact, it's like a half inch and it weighs seven ounces. It's really simple to slip this in your pocket. We did a full review on this a while back and it's just a very unique gun. It is a one shot 22. And so you pull this forward and it releases your grip. Make sure it locks in. You have your trigger right here and then pull back and then you can pull your barrel out, load a round in, close it, and then you cock it. So once you cock it, then you can fire it. And we don't want to really dry fire it, but it really works fairly well. Uh, one issue that I typically have is it around the brass gets stuck right here coming out sometimes. So, you know, that is just one of the issues. One cool thing though, they also have is a little compartment where you can put extra rounds. And I believe there's three rounds extra in there. Then when you want to close it, pull down, bring it around, and you're ready to go. This is so tiny. And even though it's one shot, this is so easy to conceal. Uh, shooting it, very simple. Uh, you know, it's just, again, a single shot. So you fire it, then you have to unload it and reload it. This is a gun that if you ever had to use, you just need to get the heck out of there. Use this more as a diversion than anything. But it's still around. And again, like they say, it's better than a sharp stick. But honestly, the engineering around it is really cool as well. I mean, I think that's probably one of the things I really love about it. And not only that, it's they're only about an hour from me in Fletcher, North Carolina. So it's a really cool design. And they are making these now in 22 Magnum as well. And then again, this is 22 Long Rifle. Next, we have the Ruger LCP-2 and 22. And the LCP is well known for being very reliable. I mean, they're small, they're thin, they're excellent. And this is just in the 22 caliber. Uh, it does have 10 plus one in the magazine. And of course, we did a review on this. Hasn't been that long ago. Uh, magazine release, you have a safety, you have these little cocking ears. Uh, just a great little reliable gun at a very small size. So especially if you're carrying a LCP and 380. This makes a great companion in just 22 long rifle. A polymer frame, double action trigger pulls, so you actually have an internal hammer. Nice little sights. These are a pleasure to shoot at the range. They're so easy. And of course, it's 22, so it makes it really fun. And yet, you have a really small package. I'm a big fan of this little pistol in particular. And when I'm out and about in the yard and I'm doing things, you know, I like to have a little 22 in case I need it for pest control. But there's a number of different colors and different accessories, and that's one of the things about the Ruger uh, that really makes this nice. And then if you have holsters for your LCP 380, you can fit that in those same holsters. Next, we have the Smith & Wesson 351C Airweight. Uh, this is in 22 Magnum. It's a seven-shot revolver. It is super light at 11.4 ounces. Uh, in fact, it is, it's one of their lightest revolvers from Smith & Wesson. Uh, they do make the hammer model as well, but this is an internal hammer. And so it's really easy even to slip this in your pocket and you can actually fire it through your pocket. Uh, it is a fairly heavy trigger pull, but that, that has to do with being able to detonate the, the rims of the case on 22. So you want to be careful with revolvers, especially for lightening that trigger pull weight because it'll lessen the hammer pull weight. Really low sights, but you've got that white dot at the front. Nice little neoprene grips in every area has been milled out to make this as small as possible. 22 Magnum, it's a real pleasure to shoot. You feel like you're holding air almost, and thus the name. But man, it is a smooth shooting firearm, and it's really easy to get on target, and there's hardly any muzzle rise, if any. So it gives you a little extra over just 22 long rifle, and yet... You know, it's still a very comfortable and fun gun to shoot, and yet has some self-defense capability with 22 Magnum. And last but not least is the Colt Jr. This is in 25 ACP. It holds six rounds, has the small little mag release down here at the heel, and nickel-plated magazines. This one just seems to function very well. Has a little bit of a beaver tail here, wood grips, hammer-fired, and it is single action. One thing that I do like about it is it does have a safety, uh, but not only a safety, when you pull this slide back, you can actually lock the slide with your safety. And then when you drop it, if you leave it up, it's a safety. So that's pretty cool. And then when you're ready to fire, pull it down and you're ready to go. 
just has very small rudimentary sights but again this is for up close and personal uh, one of the things about this firearm in particular is they are made in Spain and this is actually an updated version of the Astra Cub it was too expensive for Colt to produce these for the price they needed to sell it for and so they had Astra out of Spain to produce these but the Astra Cub was a very nice quality pistol so while this is not made in the USA it's made in Spain it still carries the Colt name during the 1968 Gun Control Act, they could no longer import these, and so they stopped production. Even though they tried to start production back in the U.S., it uh, just never happened. This is a very smooth shooting firearm. Very easy. Uh, with the wood grips, it gives you a little extra to be able to grab. But again, you're getting actually almost two fingers on this one, <laughs> which is a plus for a lot of these. But they're so small, the caliber is so easy to shoot, and these are really a pleasure to shoot. And, you know, it is a beautiful collectible little firearm, but yet it is very reliable, and it's just a little beautiful Colt Astra pistol. And the Colt Jr. was made from 1958 to 1968, and over 40,000 were made. And guys, I just want to give you a fair warning. If you ever start to pick up a couple of these little mouse guns, it can be addictive and it can affect your bank account. So just be careful <laughs> while you're out there because Lord knows I've bought a ton of these. And especially when it comes to 25 ACP, Fioki makes some really good quality ammunition. That's one of your better sources. So mouse guns, they're a lot of fun to take to the range. They're a lot of fun to collect. I mean, there's so many different unique features, especially some of the older type models, but even some of the current ones. And while I don't necessarily recommend that you carry one of these for self-defense, it does make a great little backup, and it's better than a sharp stick. Well, a little better than a sharp stick. <laughs> Rubber Dummies is one of the best training tools on the market, and you get a 10% discount using Suit00 when you click the link down in the description. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. It is a 7 plus 1 magazine in 22 and a 25 round magazine. Oh, a 25 round. Next is the Beretta model 22A. Oh, this is not a 22A, it's 21A. 21A, Bobcat. Now here are all 10. Now here are all 10 of my. Peace, peace, man. The peace, the mouse peace, the mouse peace. Now let's switch gears to the baby browning. And this is a little, let me wipe it down, it looks nasty. Beretta still makes this, and they also make the, their, oh, oh. Next is the Barat, Barata. This is the Barata Meridiever. Next is the Beretta Model 29. 29, good gosh. If Mickey Mouse carried a gun, it would definitely be the Beretta 950. <laughs> 